Let's get more now from uh, Richard Slee, who's been looking into this for us. Richard, what can you tell us? Well, detectives investigating these often quite serious uh, sex assaults have this evening described the arrest of this. Now then, Richard, British Airways have been uh, talking today about how they're dealing with these problems. What have they had to say? Well, Nick, British Airways have only just given us these few extra details. Yes, well, if you remember a few days ago, we heard from the Justice Secretary, Jack Let's go into and emerge from this building wearing the sort of overalls and boots that Well, the good news here this morning is that Eurotunnel does appear to be... We're expecting right. the first train to arrive here in about... But if you're one of the many people who've already had It that is that bitterly thing. cold here. It is something... Here at Asda, they were the first this morning. Richard Slee has been covering developments for us this morning. What do we know, Richard, about what happened yesterday? Well, the police are telling us they were called to an address in Park Lane, Carl Shorten in Surrey at about half past ten last night. And when they arrived, they found three children with serious injuries believed to be stab wounds. Richard Slee has this report. It's freely available and it's legal, but there's much that's not known about the drug Mephedrone and its dangers. Humberside Police are directly linking it to the deaths of two teenagers, Louis Wainwright and Nicholas Smith. Richard, there are two different verdicts today. Can you tell us precisely what happened? Yes, well, this morning the children's mother, Kerry Hughes, was in court to hear three expert witnesses give evidence at this inquest. To become a successful gymnast, you need to start young. Nine-year-old Emily is the British tumbling champion and training hard for the London Olympics. Well I couldn't leave without having a go at this myself. So here goes. Wow. Well, that's not actually as easy as it looks. I think I need to work on my technique just a little bit. 35mm film is old technology, but it still offers crystal clear images. There is talk of DVD projection being a cheaper digital alternative. And this is it. It's good, but it's not good enough. We have this report from Richard Slee. This morning's hostilities did not bode well, but now Hamas has declared a ceasefire. It wants Israel to withdraw from Gaza within a week. Guangzhou Station in southern China is besieged by more than a quarter of a million people desperate to get home in time for the Chinese New Year. The drama began at about 11 o'clock this morning and it soon developed into a major incident. For most of the day, this estate has been sealed off and under a cloud of dangerous gas. Okay, Richard, okay, just relax, we'll talk you through everything, okay? Nothing to worry. Excellent. Well, with such good results after just one week, it looks like this was the right decision for me. And I can't help thinking that because the process was so fast and so painless, that one day this will be the normal way to treat short and long-sighted vision. Zigzag Hill is a mile long, steep and very bendy. They say the forces exerted on a car going round these bends at a constant 30 miles an hour is the same as driving on a racetrack. But if you're driving at 30 miles an hour down this road, you're going too fast. You're making me dizzy. The vision is the result of extensive research and consultation. And at the end of this DVD, we want your feedback. Your answers will continue to help shape the future development of Salisbury. I'll be back with the ITV Morning News at 5.30.